could say this right. So I just feel like, um, I don't know, maybe y'all might be experiencing this. So like everywhere I am, everywhere I go, it'll be a police right or some shit like that. Or if, if I'm sitting somewhere, you know how the, uh, the stalkers and shit is, right? So let's just say it's a police scene right there. They'll just move randomly. They'll just move because it's like they know a motherfucker stalking me. So they don't want to be around when something happened or somebody do something to me so they can't say that they seen it. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if y'all experiencing the same thing, but this shit really been on my mind heavy. You know what I'm saying? Just thinking about this shit. You know what I'm saying? It's like... They'll be right there, but they are, they'll they move. But y'all be everywhere else when the motherfucker be going through something. You be everywhere else. But when, when something finna happen or when they trolling, your ass want to get ghosts like you ain't no, you know what I'm saying? Like, what what is, what is we doing? You know what I'm saying? What is we doing? I'm sick of y'all. If you ain't going to take your job seriously, get that motherfucker to somebody who will. You know what I'm saying? Because you ain't the only motherfucker. You ain't doing your job no way. So it wouldn't even matter. But I just had to throw it out there because I'm just trying to figure if I'm the only person experiencing this shit. And if I'm the only person experiencing ambulances and shit, driving by and shit, uh, rrr, rrr, making no other shit, but ain't nothing wrong. You know what I'm saying? Constantly up and down this motherfucking street ain't shit wrong. Man, y'all folks is turning the streets up. All these hoes in the streets coming from y'all and these big ass trucks and rear trucks and fed ass trucks and prime trucks. Y'all around here stalking the shit, just riding these motherfucking streets like that. That's why these streets fucked up. You know what I'm saying? That's why they fucked up. And y'all don't even, and, and whoever working for the city, y'all don't even take the time to even uh, fix this shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm so sick of y'all, bro. I'm so sick of y'all. Let's, let's get a reading out here. I'm just sick of y'all. Just riding up down the street ain't shit wrong, but you want to uh, constantly ride down this motherfucking street. With sirens on or something. It ain't even got to be riding down the street. I could be in the motherfucking rain. I could pass one of them motherfuckers and they want to have these sirens and shit on. You know what I'm saying? Like some going, no, it's harassment campaign. That's how they deal. Foolish. I don't know what y'all think y'all going to get from it. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what y'all think going to happen from it. it ain't nothing going to happen, but y'all just going to keep making noise and shit. I don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? But I'm going to bring to to your attention. Um... But I really truly don't give a fuck. Y'all can do this shit till you run out of gas. You can room, room and shit. Ride down the street till you run out of gas. I wouldn't give a fuck. Just like uh, my car stopped on me. And, uh, and matter of fact, it stopped on me. And two police came by my. Do you think? And I got a child. We said we outside the car with the hood up and everything. Do you think the folks stopped and asked was anything wrong? And then I see somebody like a day or two later. They have a car problem. And the police pull up on them folks. Ask them is they okay. You know what I'm saying? Like shit like that. that that's what be going on. But it's cool. Because God got me. I don't need now one of you sucker bust the whole trust. Because God got me. Ben had me. You know what I'm saying? Ben had me. That's why you bitches going to lose your job. You ain't going to have that motherfucker much more longer. I promise you that. You don't know what to do with it. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna come a time when you gotta go home and tell your 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 wife or your mammy that you lost your job because that's what the fuck gonna happen. That's what's gonna happen. Sick of y'all. Cocksuckers. I'm talking about ain't, ain't trying to ask me what's wrong or shit, but you know what I'm saying? But uh, then you see the next motherfucker you wanna ask them. Right, well. Okay. Um, I'm I'm picking up on family members like um I don't believe in coincidence. So if you ask someone you see a certain family member that you ain't you ain't seen in a long time or you know what I'm saying, a long ass time, like don't even undo you know what I'm saying? Cause they know the guilt is killing their ass, so they trying to see where you be at. So they can pull up on you, so they can be where you at at the same time, so they can get a conversation out of you to see what you know. I wouldn't get them shit, you know what I'm saying? We ain't talk, we ain't finna talk about shit. No, hell no. Man, I'm so sick of saying this, y'all. I'm saying sick of saying the inheritance card. I'm, I'm not even finna take it. I'm finna put it back. I just don't want to see it. Somebody finna get hit in, somebody, did somebody get hit in the face with some acid or something? Picking it up. Oh, Lord, 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 Lord. I say fraudulent marriage. Let's talk about it. Yeah, if you see through some type of illusion. Somebody put you in a fraudulent marriage and you see through the illusions. <laughs> it could be something significant about a bomb or something. A bomb, too. Somebody trying to... Mm.
Somebody trying to set a bomb off and knock out the electric grid. Yep, it's gonna be an inside job. Mm -mm. Good. Inheritance again. It's something significant about inheritance, y'all. I'm not even finna talk about it, but y'all seen I showed y'all the inheritance card just from minutes ago. It was not this card. So I got a lot of cards that say inheritance card, but um, it's something significant about inheritance, though. Uh, uh The reading I just did, too, as well. Let's see what else, what else we want to talk about. What else, what else we want to talk about? Somebody could be from Washington. Okay, we got, uh, I'm not like you, and we got exposed, the government exposed the community. So maybe you are somebody, somebody somebody's government or somebody's community is being exposed. Maybe it's this going on in Washington. It could be going on anywhere, but this is just the cards that came out, okay? Um, it's too many, way too many cards. Somebody, an undercover agent could possibly get locked up. It's too many cards. I ain't even finna check out these cards. Somebody need to be careful too, cause I got the drug you card. It damn the one hit the floor. Somebody tried to drug you or trying to drug you or something. I'm I'm getting like somebody need to watch who they smoking with. Somebody trying to drug your ass or some uh, lace your lace your weed or something. Hmm. Why am I getting all these cards? So we got a master mason of sis. I was using you. Okay. You st uh, stole your life insurance money. So I feel like with these masons and shit, whatever this shit y'all running, it's like y'all got a lot of legal shit going on. And I'm seeing that for one, it's hidden cameras. You know what I'm saying? Y'all y'all putting these hidden cameras in your kids' homes and other people's homes to watch them and make money off them and shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm also even trying to take people out for life insurance money. Whoever doing this is a master mason, or this is just what Mason's doing. Some significant to a master mason out here, though, in your community or some. So whatever's going on in your community, I feel like it it it, it um consists of like Easter Star Masons, uh, Blood and Bones, all the a lot of them. You know what I'm saying? All these organizations, um, they being exposed. They being exposed. Something's being exposed with that. Yep, the setup is being exposed. We got a church following you. A truth teller, and we got initiation. So, let's see what's going on. Fight break out. It could be a significant fight going to break out somewhere. Maybe even at a restaurant. Um, Let's see. So, we got truth teller. So, whoever you are, you a truth teller. And you stay in this community where they are. Um, uh, I'm, I'm hearing trafficking as well. Trafficking people. Taking that life insurance policy on people. Stealing them. Um, whoever these, these, these organizations are, they tried to initiate you. You know what I'm saying? They tried to, it, obviously if they tried to initiate you, they tried to steal your soul or whatever it is. You know what I'm saying? Whatever they mean for you, church following you because they trying to initiate you. They want you to join a team. Yep. Look, and I picked it. I can't make, look, I picked, look, what they say? Yes. They trying to get you to join a team. What they, some hit the phone like comics. But uh, they, they tried to initiate you because you, whoever you are, you a truth teller. You know what I'm saying? Whoever you are, you definitely in your power and you cannot be stopped. It's an energy shift about to take place. These mother tried to kidnap you, uh, drug you. So they tried to drug you, then kidnap you. What the fuck? Set up. But some of you are your dad did this shit or participated in this setup against you. So if you a truth teller, usually truth tellers are, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Whistleblowers, right? So whoever you are, whistleblower, you were set up by your community and by the gov by your government and your community. Okay, that's what this is. And so they try to initiate you into um um whatever this shit is. Dark energy. It's very dark energy. Like I said, you could be from Washington or anywhere. And then I'm not like you came out because you're not like these people. How you gonna try to initiate somebody who's not of the darkness? Who who's um. Uh, you know what I'm saying? It's not, I don't understand it. Y'all, that's what y'all thought was going to happen. And like a lot of y'all parents and shit too, 
I'm saying that they they had got initiated too, but they chose a side. They didn't chose the side you chose. And now a lot of your parents are mad because you don't want to do what they did or you don't want to follow their footsteps. Why would the fuck would you follow their footsteps and they around here sacrificing people and necromancing and following people and gang stalking people? You decided that you don't want to join a team. You know what I'm saying? Because obviously you're not like them. So they trying to initiate you. This shit not going to work because your soul don't even belong. Your soul belongs to the most high. You know what I'm saying? And you got the you got a church following you trying to initiate you, or a community trying to initiate you into some shit because you a truth teller, and they try to set you up. Man, hell, yep. Yeah, look, they avoiding the towel. They avoiding the towel, and they tried to set you up. Or somebody tried to look hit man caught. I'm so sick of family. So your family set you up. So your family is about to have a towel. Whoever you are, um, you like I said, you're a truth teller, and your family is a part of this shit. I feel like you exposed this with the truth. To, yep, they guilty. That's what I'm saying. Like you got, like I said before, you got family shit trying to come back around. I'm not gonna make this read long, y'all. You got family trying to come back around and meet you in in strange places and shit that that they never been in. You know what I'm saying? They don't even stay in your part of the town. They stay goddamn it like 20, 30 minutes away. But they all of a sudden this day they decide to be in your city, in, in your town where you is shopping or whatever the fuck. It, it's just weird. But see, cause they know they. Get Guilty, and they know that it's like they trying to see what you know or some shit. You know what I'm saying? And they know you said, look, blood ain't thicker than water. Mm. Blood ain't thicker than water. Yep, I just seen gang stalking. So a lot of your family, your initial start with an elf. Somebody initial start with an elf. Yeah, you don't trust nobody at this time. You don't trust these people. Your family, no family. I don't give a fuck. You don't trust them. And just, and, and, and I feel you. For some of y'all, it's an aunt. It's an aunt that's guilty of something, guilty of doing something, taking your money. Uh, could be taking your money. So we got the judge, the lawyer, the family, they all played along, okay? So whatever this is, with you being a truth teller, you expose the government. Or you expose your community. You expose the judge. You, you expose... <sighs> Screw you. You expose the lawyer. You expose even your family because they are here. So whatever this shit is, you exposing it. Or you exposed it. It was in your destiny to expose this corruption. It was always it was it was in your destiny to expose this shit. You was always gonna expose you got a mom here. You know what I'm saying? Or I'm even getting like this um MK Ultra shit, whatever they doing with the mind control and shit, you was it was your destiny to expose that. You know what I'm saying? Just like some of y'all did it's it's your purpose to expose the Illuminati or is to expose your government for the corruption. You were placed strategically, you were placed in this shit right in the middle of it. Because you was the one, you was the uh what you call it? Uh what I'm, what's the word I'm looking for? Not scapegoat, but you was. But I'm looking for what's the word, um you was the bait. I'm going to say that. You was the bait. You was the, um, you was the reason. You know, so like I be saying, you was the reason for the season. You was the reason that this shit is going on, this playing out. You was changing the energy shift. Y'all, it's more than one of y'all. Y'all changing the timeline. Y'all changing the energy shift, energy shift of what's going on. Um, because you exposing this shit. You know what I'm saying? You exposing this. You exposing this corruption. So you expose the judge, the lawyer, the family. Everybody played along and trying to take you out because you was out. You was meant to expose it. That's why I be saying y'all quit reading folks' Akashi records and shit, knowing what they destined for. And then you gonna bring your punk ass over and try to slow these people down. And this shit ain't getting you nowhere. Look, it ain't getting you nowhere. Yes, you trying to slow them down. You gang stalking people. Confirmation. You hear the sirens? That's how they do is ride and shit. Ain't making no noise. Only noise they making is behind the wheel of that motherfucking uh, truck. That's all they doing. They ain't doing shit else because they can't do shit else. They serve no purpose. That's why I be glad when you motherfuckers, and I hate to say that, I hate to say I be glad when y'all on, ain't on the on the face of the earth no more, but y'all really, y'all not serving a purpose here. If this is all y'all doing and want to cause corruption and shit, you, you need to be six feet under. You don't need to be in the, in the land of living. You know what I'm saying? Because you ain't serving no purpose. You just here just wasting fucking earn. You know what I'm saying? Taking up earn, wasting people. Man, look. Please, stop it. 
Yeah, let these people live at their destiny or whatever the fuck they got to do or their purpose or whatever. Let these people be great. I'm, I'm sick of y'all. You know what I'm saying? I'm just sick of y'all. I'm sick of family. I'm sick of family thinking they, and then they going to get the ones that's closer to you. The ones you can never imagine that's doing this shit to you is the ones that's doing it to you. You know? I'm tired of y'all. I'm tired of y'all. I'm tired of them for y'all. Shit. Like, this shit, like, a merry go round. This shit going in circles and circles and circles. You know what I'm saying? Like, it don't stop. This is family doing this. Family taking out life insurance on other family members and they stealing the money and shit. Yeah, cause look, they trying to bully you. They, they, they ain't number some bullies. That's why y'all don't need to be on the face of the earth. You know what I'm saying? Y'all guys need to be somewhere under the jail, under the, in the ground, under the ground, whatever the hell. Y'all just, uh-uh. And you are first trying to tell the truth and keep, man, uh, look. Expose the community, expose the government. Okay, nothing on that card. I need to write something on there. Oh, okay, thank you, Spirit. Okay, Rebel. So, whoever you are, you got God, too. God and Rebel. What was I clarifying? Expose the government, expose your community. This, this is... And then we got exorcist. Okay. Let me see. So, it's like... um. There's a high power Im involved with this God card. Uh, we're exposing this. God is uh, helping you do this. You know what I'm saying? Or you helping God to expose these people. Take it however it resonates. But these people are being exposed. And whoever you are, you are, you say, a rebel. You challenge authority. You challenge authority. Um, you or Something about um, the system or something like that. Um You a rebel to it, you know what I'm saying? It's like uh, you don't do what you don't do it. The rest of everybody doing, you see straight through the illusions of what this government and what your community is doing. You know what I'm saying? And God is right on your side. You know what I'm saying? God is right on your side. Why you doing it? So whoever you are, you challenge authority figures. You know what I'm saying? You 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 forcing these people to look at the excesses in them. I think I talked about this the other day. These people are evil. They got evil entities attached to them. Um. You definitely done freed yourself from that, but I, I'm definitely getting like, um, these people are evil as hell with the exorcists. That I'm getting demons and shit like that, you know? Mm -mm. Yeah, look, I picked the card up. You got black magic and you got, um, gang stalking and you got ritual. Oh, excuse me. You got rituals, confirmation, and you got satanic cult. <laughs> So it's definitely if you it, you got being uh church following you or you got guy in stock. So whoever you are, um you're a truth teller, you giving me um like I said, um whistleblowing energy because you exposing the government, you exposing something. Like I said, you making these people um with this uh rebel, you are a rebel. You know what I'm saying? You don't go you don't do what everybody is doing, you know what I'm saying? You follow your own beat the your own drum, you know what I'm saying? If it made sense, it's like uh you challenging these people. So now you forcing these people to wake up and look at that damn self. You know what I'm saying? It's a high power involved in the in, in, in the most high can't write on out. God can't write on out. Helping you to expose these criminals, expose these people. Ain't no more stealing nobody destiny and shit. Ain't no more. Ain't no more none of that. You uh, uh exposing these organizations. I'm hearing crime mob, these corps and shit. Um, the guy stalking all this shit. The black magic, the rituals. You got YouTuber, high priest, and famous. So whatever you're doing with this truth teller. It's putting you in some type of spotlight with the famous card, high priest card, somebody who revealed things and you know secrets. Yeah, so you exposing them. You exposing the community to your government. You could be doing it on YouTube. You could be a YouTuber or you don't have to be. You could be anybody, you know what I'm saying? Let me get a couple more cards. Um, this reading not going to resonate with anybody, but if it do, then whoop de do. Okay, you could be from South Carolina. Look, story going public, and do we got the famous card? So whoever you are, just know, you know I've been get. Okay, right. stolen inheritance. <laughs> Hold on. 
whole nother dick sitting over here to the side. I ain't touched this dick of cards in uh, somebody's sinus could be acting up. I ain't touched this dick of cards in probably about four days. And you just been sitting here. So, what um, uh, is that why they gang stalking you and shit and trying to take you out because you exposing some shit and, and you exposing something to do with some inheritance that you supposed to have? Yeah, you was betrayed. And you got murder plot, government shutdown, maybe another government shutdown, maybe significant, or something started when the government shut down for you. So when they when they did when the government shut down, that's when you you know, maybe you were finding out certain things or whatever. But yeah, you got somebody coming towards you. Like I said, that's their family. They're trying to see what you know, or somebody trying to literally see what you know. But this somebody who already betrayed you already with a murder plot and government shutdown. Maybe that's during a time when they had the first government shut down. That's when the murder plot began. That's when they tried to take you out. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, we do got a murder plot here. It's crazy. You are godly. Um, very um, in tune with the spiritual realm. Mm, you was betrayed. You was betrayed by a community, by the government, or whatever. Hmm. Look at that hidden camera right here. These don't even supposed to be here. I don't wonder where them damn cars went to. But we got hidden camera sex tape and they showing everybody. And then we got sex video right here, okay? So it's something significant to a sex video too as well. All this shit, you were set up in that way. Where somebody planted a camera and did some type of, they were making money off you with the sex video. Wow, you could be a YouTuber. I feel like you exposed all this shit. Yep. Unsigned mystery. Something is an unsigned mystery and you expose it. Look, sacrifice. You got evil entities. I told these people are like evil and they stressed out now because the truth is coming out. The truth is out, okay? You could be from Memphis. So, South Carolina, Memphis, and what was the other one? Washington. So, this is shit going on in these places. Sacrifice. Trying to sacrifice people to take them out. Mm-hmm. Because y'all know that they were supposed to expose this shit. Now they stressed out. Now your community stressed out. Now the government stressed out. Unside, something was an unside mystery. I feel like that's about to be solved. Or something significant to an unside mystery. Maybe you solved it because you're, you're, you're a truth teller. You know what I'm saying? It could be a plethora of things. So just take it how it resonates. But it's some, it's some foul play here. It's a murder plot here. I'm telling you, they tried to take you out. They tried to take you out. Yep, look, inside job. It was an inside job. It was not a fucking accident. That's what they car say. It wasn't an accident. They're trying to silence you. Whatever you're doing on YouTube, it's going to go viral. Some video is going to go viral. Somebody named Jay or Jalen or Jake, Jacob, Jake, Dark Coven. It's a, some, some coming out about a coven of people, man. Uh, your father, your father could be inf involved with this covenant of people. Then we got black magic sacrifice. So somebody's father could have tried to sacrifice them, doing black magic on them. Somebody in your family will be passing away, and they want to know how did you find out. The bounty hunter is looking for somebody. Yep, little dark covenant. Okay, I'm going to pull some sign. Look, talent, wealth, pack with it. Somebody made a talent. I mean, somebody made a pack with the devil to take you out. Um, but they didn't succeed, so she, you, you know what that means. I'm telling you, cause it, bro, y'all know I got so many cards that say inheritance, bro. This is the, what the third card we seen, target in a criminal investigation. Something about you being a target in a criminal investigation, it got something to do with inheritance. I bet you any kind of money. They tried to take you, but they didn't want you to find out about it. Everybody was going to get a piece of this shit. Everybody participate. Look, so they want to try to silence you. They envious of your come up because we did see famous. And then we got neighborhood watch. So you definitely uh being watched by your neighborhood. You on the neighborhood watch. Somebody know that they in trouble. Yeah, but <laughs> somebody finna come into a soulmate. Uh look, story going public. Didn't I tell you? Um, soulmate union. Something significant about a soulmate. Somebody finna come into union with their soulmate. Then we got judge being sentenced here. So um Ooh, and a fight may break out, or in court, a fight may break out in court. So, listen, check this out. We got judge being sentenced. Right here, we got um, the judge, the lawyer, the family. They all, they all played along, okay? So, if you were exposing a go What? Yeah. Okay. So, um, 
Yeah, everybody has been exposed, especially this judge. It's this judge is about to be sentenced. Then I say something about the judge, they ass gonna be sentenced. Cause they participated in whatever this shit is. Uh I just organized crime and shit. Rico crime. That's what I'm getting. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I was gonna tell y'all something the other day. I had, I was in a store the other day. I don't know what the fuck. I'm, I was gonna tell y'all something I forget, but I know I was in a store the other day and I ain't have enough money to buy. I was trying to get the kids some food, right? You know, the cooker, and I was trying to get the food, and then I was trying to buy some dessert so they had some dessert to eat, but I couldn't buy it. Some lady came up behind me and she was like, "Can I get your basket?" And I was like, "Yes." Yeah. She was like, "I'm gonna give you twenty five cent," and I was like, "Um." Man, I was like, no, nah, you good. You ain't got to give me nothing. So, you know, I was like, I'm going to put this cake back. And she did say something to me about it. She was like, are you finna put that? She was like, oh, you don't like that? Was, she said something about the cake. And I was like, no, nah, I ain't going to get it because I ain't got enough for it. All I know is I turned around. She must have paid for the cake for me. And the man put it on in my basket. And I meant to turn around and thank her. And then the night, it was a man. I had actually had called police because he was looking in folks' windows and stuff, right? And then I seen him. It was raining the other day, so and he had no shoes on or nothing. So he put a cup. He was going on the Africans. He went on the Africans' porch and he stole like, uh, like, uh, uh, I want to say like a my mad or some or something like that or a cover or something. And he and he went and got like a box spring because I know I had put my brother box spring back because I had bought him a new one. So I had um, put the box spring after he went and picked the box spring up, brought the bed on my back porch. And so I had caught the police and then he went looking at everybody wanted because what he was doing was the people who ain't got no light on their apartments, he thought that the, the, the apartment was vacant. So he was going to it trying to see if somebody stay there. So you know, I ended up, I just caught the police on Then when I seen him bring a cup and set it, he set it by a door. He brought the cup and set it by a door so that he can get so it could fill up with with rain water. So when I seen that, it made me feel bad for him. So y'all, I had cooked the roast and I had um, uh, you know, carrots and potatoes and you know all kind of shit in it. And um, I I took him some roast and then I took him some some. I think I made some garlic bread and I fed him. You know what I'm saying? I just let him come in the hallway because I, I kind of felt bad when I seen what he was doing. But anyway, I fed him. I gave him a cup. I gave him a Coke. And I gave him a cup with some ice in it. And I fed the man or whatever. He looked like he wasn't no more than about 20. You know what I'm saying? And I fed him good or whatever. And I let him sleep for the night just, you know, in the hallway or whatever. But the next day, I told him he had to leave. So he gone at the apartment. But I had felt so bad. And I was like, damn. And I, I had called the police on him. What did they call me for? But anyway, yeah, so I had called, you know, or whatever, I had called the police on him, and I, I felt bad, so I fed him, and then the next day I let him leave. I was finna tell y'all this the other day, I don't know what made me finna tell it, but it was something behind it. I don't even know what, what it was, but anyway, you know, I don't even remember y'all, but it was something of the nature. But I was gonna tell y'all the story, but it was it was something behind the reason why I was gonna tell y'all this story, but I can't even remember. I don't know, but, uh, you know, it's still good people out here. It's still good people out here, y'all. You know what I'm saying? I was like, why this lady? And I was like, I didn't, it just caught me by surprise, you know? With how the world lives and, you know, what we up against, it just kind of caught me by surprise. Okay, so we have Pluto, we have Jupiter, Air signs, um, Leave them not credit. Mercury, Scorpio, Leo, Venus. Let me hear real because my back hurt. <clears throat> Sorry. Oh, uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. We got Cancer. We got Libra, Saturn, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Virgo. And we got Aries, okay? And Life Path 8. So you can be any one of these signs. This mix can resonate with you. Um, you know, it's not gonna resonate with everybody, uh, and just because I didn't call your sign, I mean, it's not a message in here for you. But I want to thank y'all for being here, thank y'all for listening, and I will see you guys in the next reading. I love y'all, y'all make good choices, stay out the way, y'all. Please stay out the way because these people out here don't mean nobody no damn good, and we can see that. I'm just baffled how uh, a judge and a lawyer and, and all this shit like it, it like what, what's going on? 
What's going on? Oh, what's going on? I don't understand it, bro. So y'all see now, that's why they was able to get away with it because shit, they working for the government. You know what I'm saying? They working for, you know what I'm saying? They, they, you know, the whole community working for the government. They ain't finna, not, whoever you are, you a rebel to this shit. You see through the illusions. You woke. A lot of these people ain't woke, but they refuse to wake up. A lot of these people woke and they know what's going on and they still going against the grain. That's going to make it worse on you, baby. That's going to make it worse on you. For you to be woke and you know the truth and you still turn the blinds out, that's much worse. Huh? But look, God came right out with rubble. So you know that you're not in this by yourself. God is with you. Right with you. You ain't by yourself doing this alone. God know that, look, exorcism. God and look, God versus exorcism. Like God versus demons. You know what I'm saying? God versus the y'all want y'all not gonna win that battle. That's why I be telling y'all, come on, join this side. You know what I'm saying? Come on this side. You a lover here. You you probably don't see it yet because you you so blinded. But I promise you, you a lover here, bro. You a lover here. And these people mad and they sad, bro. Something might be significant to a treehouse. Something about a treehouse. I don't know. Let me know. Yeah. So I love y'all. Y'all make good choices, man. Uh, please. And I want to thank y'all for being here. Thank y'all for listening. If y'all want to donate to my channel, I would so love it. Um, y'all, uh, money sign, cash me, Alicia, A-L-Y-S-I-A. Only if you want to. You don't have to, but it would be nice if you if you can. Um, I picked this card on the floor. It said Carmen Sister. So, uh, it's, I don't know who you are, but just know that your sister tried to set you up. You got a Carmen Sister here. I think her initial style was a J or a V. Some a T, a D. I'm here. Somebody named Janet, uh, uh, so Alex, Alex, Alexandra. I keep hearing Jonathan. Whoever the fuck Jonathan is. Uh, look, look at that. I went right. You were three. And then we did have Masons. You were set up by, by uh, these organizations, bro. They trying to take you out. Yep. Look at this shit. Masons. Then we got you with your father under judgment. So if you have a father that's a Mason, um, he's on the judgment right now. He's on the fucking judgment right now, and I and I mean it in 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 the best way possible. His ass on the judgment. Yeah, cause I'm getting like once upon a time he would probably be in gang star once upon a time. I'm seeing something about uh, he couldn't he couldn't handle it though. Like you can't. It's like he got he feels some type of way because he's like, damn, I couldn't do it, but my child did it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I couldn't beat him, but my child did. And for that, he, he holding some type of vendetta. He like, he don't fucking like you. You know what I'm saying? But, I mean, that's what he chose. Just like you you, know, that you chose you chose your path and he chose his. He wasn't strong enough. He should be really congratulating you or happy for his child. But he's not. But either or, either way, his ass under judgment. Could be under judgment for a theft and doing black magic on you, okay? A theft and... Did I, look, I said 777. I keep saying... Um, seven, 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 and I was looking at some in my matter of fact. That's how much money I got on my cash app. That's what that's what I was saying. I was like seven, seven, seven. I got seven dollars and seven, seven, ten on my cash app, and then I see it again. Seven, seven, seven. It's so significant to a jackpot. Oh look, I speak the deck right at Karmic Father. So listen, I feel like with the jackpot, and then I seen the theft. He could be on the judgment for stealing your money or jack. Look, and I speak the deck right at yes. You got a, somebody got a father that's, you could be a psychic investigator, or you don't have to be, you could be, it's there, but they go to theft again, and his father thought he was going to leave the past in the past, but the lies being revealed about what the fuck he did in this community, this father could have dreads, I feel like this father will fight, that he could be fighting people, or it's about to be a fight, or something about to come, look, you 10 steps ahead of him, he trying to take you out and kill you, but guess what, you about to get a new beginning, that's crazy that your own parent would do that to you. It's so fucking crazy to me. And I keep getting this sign in. What sign is this father right quick? What sign is this father really quick? And I'm going to let y'all go. I'm going to let y'all go. So we got Aquarius. We got Neptune. I'm gonna get like three more and then I'm gonna leave it at that. In the okay, there we go. So we got Gemini, we got Saturn, Jupiter, Aquarius, Neptune, 
We have Libra, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and Cancer. Life path seven, life path three, life path two. So this follow could be any one of those signs, any one of these life paths, moon on the bottom of the deck, life path two. Okay, so take it how it resonates. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to wrap it up. I love y'all. Somebody need to wrap it up too. Quit having sex with these bitches and you ain't wrapping it up. Okay, because we get a lot of energy where people catching shit that you don't want to have and you can't get rid of it, but you should have chose, made better decisions, you know what I'm saying, and wrapped it up. And I'm going to leave it at that. And I love y'all. Y'all make good choices and stay out the way. All I can tell you, stay out the way. Because these people killing, stealing, purging, they not giving a fuck. They doing it. Everything up under the sun, they doing it. Thinking they ain't going to get caught. But God see all. So y'all wondering why y'all getting karma of fucking around catching cancer, fucking around catching um, all these diseases and shit. Or everything in life just failing. Uh, you're losing everything, your wife, your car, your everything. Because cause look how you move. You know what I'm saying? Look how look what you're doing. Look how you're moving. So God going to take away every, what you love the most. He's going to take this shit from you. God going to take it from you, whatever you love the most. And this was going on. This is the season. 2024, folks getting caught up. 2024, ain't none of this shit going on. I'm always not finna be going into 2025. I'm telling you it's not. But anyway, y'all stay up. Make good choices. Bye.